I use this uh, US Extreme Power 16 inch cutoff wheel. Comes with a diamond blade and uh, did a really good job for me. The blade is still very sharp after using it all day long. It, it's a heavy saw. It comes with a water injection and a quick disconnect here and has a, a ground fault interrupter built right into the plug. And it actually kicked on me twice and saved me, I guess, because there was a lot of water flying around. It also has this depth gauge uh, that I did not use. And what I did, you can see there's wear on this flat spot and on this flat spot here. What I did, I, I made this shelf here and I used that to support the weight of the saw when I was doing the horizontal cuts. You can see there's some uh, drill holes there. And what I did, I spaced those out to be just over 3 eighths of an inch. So I could use the same drilled hole and just move the this shelf up or down. And that way I could get the, uh, the 3 eighths cut that I needed, the curve, to install that steel bar. But the, uh, this really helped me out a lot. I don't think I could have done the job without this, this uh, shelf that I built. It allowed me to uh, support the weight of the saw, and I'm actually standing. I was actually standing on this saw horse up kind of high uh, to hold the saw, and it uh, really worked out well. I just used some steel angle bolted to the the wood here. Just it's all just a temporary uh, contraption, and I did um, do some measurements. It's three and a half inches is the uh, the distance. Of the kerf from this surface on the saw to the top of the blade here and so that's uh I actually it's very convenient because that's actually the exact distance of a two by four so i just used the two by four as the gauge when i uh, bolted this uh, shelf up onto the wall and i just used some concrete screws you can see the, the screws screw holes are still there in the in the wall and i'll just plug those up later there's another set there for when uh, I did the, the lower cut. And like I said, the verticals, I didn't need a guide or any way to support it. It didn't matter if the saw moved up or down. But for the horizontal cuts, it's very important that the saw be held perfectly horizontal or the blade will bind. And that may be what, the, uh, what some people are having problems with if you try and cut a horizontal hole. Um, I didn't have any trouble at all. It's all plenty powerful. I actually just fed it on a 20 amp circuit and it never kicked the breaker. It never bogged down. It never seemed to struggle in any way. It, uh, awesome, awesome saw. It's just heavy. And, uh, the other thing, uh, funny, uh, there's this button you have to depress when you pull the trigger. And that was hard to depress for me when I was holding the saw. The way I had to hold it against the wall, I, uh, I couldn't get my thumb on the button, but I could use my other hand to hit the button and kick it. And uh, the good thing is the saw uh, starts off slow, so you can just you have plenty of time when you pull the trigger. Uh, the saw blade starts off slow and then kicks up, and that's actually a godsend because um, if it kicked on full uh, full uh, speed, it'd be hard to handle. And I also added this uh, level, this bubble, uh, bubble level, and that helped me see that I was holding the saw blade perfectly horizontal when I was making these horizontal cuts. And the only the only issue I had was right away when I first applied water, this uh, hose popped off, and so I just added some zip ties to the water line, and I, I didn't have any more trouble with it. But the saw is awesome; it was very powerful and uh, cut the brick very easily cut it like butter and i don't it, it doesn't even appear i mean i can feel the blade still very abrasively sharp it's still uh, right in there what i did do though i did you can see there's a yellow paint mark there i did add that uh, to, so i would know when i'm looking at the top of the blade i could know uh, the depth that i needed to be at and i didn't need to go any further than that so uh, this is a really nice saw, and it's not very expensive. It actually is cheaper just to buy it and use it than to try and rent it. 
and I bought it on Amazon and didn't have any trouble with it. I fed it with a 20 amp breaker uh, circuit and it never kicked off. I'd seen reports where some people say they do, but I didn't bind up the blade and so that may be why it didn't give me a problem. But I highly recommend the saw if you have some uh, brickwork you need to cut. It is heavy. I might could have gone with a lighter saw. It might have been easier to uh, handle, but it did have a lot of power and I don't regret buying it.